see it through. They'll sign you up to join their crew. Hi, Rojo. Scam. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joe and welcome to a brand new video. And this is going to be a pretty quick one. This is going to be about a pretty old scam method, honestly. I remember this was going about in CSGO quite a while ago, like years ago. But it never really hit TF2 and I guess it will make sense later on in the video. But I guess it's because there's not as much of like a competitive scene in Team Fortress 2. Now, however, it does seem to be coming a bit more prominent. And there was actually a post on the TF2 Reddit 15 days ago of someone getting affected by this. So what the scam is, is a variation of the phishing scam, and if you don't know the phishing scam, essentially it's where someone will somehow or another lead you to a fake Steam site in which you will enter your login details, and this variation is the competitive team phishing scam. So what someone will do is they'll add you on Steam. Their profile will most likely look legit. They may even have a few nice items and they won't speak broken English like generic scammers and generally it will seem like a, a relatively normal conversation. And the conversation as, will go as following. They will essentially say, hey, hey man, I need one more person for this competitive tournament. tournament. They may even say something like, oh, I need like one more person and if we win we get $500 or something just to like convince you to get in. So if you have any experience in Team Fortress 2, you might think, hey, this could be fun to give competitive TF2 a shot. And so if you say, yeah, sure, like, I'll, I'll play TF2 with your comp team, um, he will essentially then link you some sort of dodgy link with the team name. And when you go to the link, in this screenshot from the Reddit post, it's csgoproleague.com, but any variation of this could happen. Um, it will provide you with a fake Steam login, and everything looks completely legit. The site looks relatively professional. The Steam login even looks like a normal Steam login. However, of course, it's a fake login designed to steal your login information, and I heard this can go other ways as well. Some people, I remember back in CSGO, reported that when you'd be in a conversation with someone, they would ask you to download a team program, like Discord or TeamSpeak or something, but the download link they give you is completely fake and it will download some sort of virus onto your computer. So the moral of the story, lads, if anyone adds you and asks you to play competitive with them and to download something or anything that isn't through TF2 or through anything you recognise, it's most likely going to be fake. And I think it would be a bit of an odd thing to do to just add a random person on Steam for your competitive team, you know? Normally you have backup players or one of your friends or, like, one of the teammates' friends or something. It's just a very unlikely situation that they'd approach a random person. So, uh, yeah, I just thought I'd report on this one because I haven't actually spoke about this specifically on the channel before. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe out there and peace. You can't spend money when you're dead, G. That's why I'm thinking, fuck it, splash it till my bank is empty. All my time to someone who don't even want to text me. Never doing that again because all it does is stress me. Spitting bars is fun to me now, all these rappers under me. I post it with a zoot and creams. I beat up car hard dungarees. Top and I won't leave because I'm a stubborn G. Enough love to the people.